Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I'm going to take this and make this. This is a vegan cheese sauce that I love. I think it's super versatile. You can make it your own and it's kind of like a good base overall. It's super inexpensive, affordable, and really delicious. Not only am I gonna share with you how I made this cheese sauce today, I'm also gonna share with you a whole bunch of ways and how to use it. I think these are all super family-friendly recipes because I'm taking a lot of standard American diet meals and making them gluten-free and vegan-friendly. So come along with me, let's jump into the first recipe. I'm so excited to share this with you because I made it a couple weeks ago and literally could not wait to share. It is a lasagna roll-up. I made this over the summer, sometime I think in like June or July, and so many of you love this recipe, and now we're putting a fun twist on it by making it not only gluten-free, but also using a delicious cheese sauce to top it. So let's jump into the first recipe. Come on. I shared this recipe last summer and it was so popular here on my channel. I will link that recipe video down below if you want to check it out. It has a lot of really good recipes within that video, but I did this with a red sauce and at the time I wasn't gluten-free and I have been loving the fact that I have gluten-free noodles in my life from Thrive Market so I can make this recipe again and I actually think I prefer it with the cheese sauce versus the red sauce, but either way is delicious. They're so easy, it's just a quick three ingredients. You boil your noodles. I don't let my noodles cook as long as the package says. I typically leave them about two minutes shy so they finish baking in the oven just so they're really nice and pliable so I can put the beans in the inside, roll them, pour the cheese sauce on top, and bake them at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. I think this recipe is great for a family. I have heard a lot of you say your kids really like it. You can switch the bean components out. You can add extra veggies. I'm a very simple person so this is like the perfect meal prep for me so I can take these along with me for work during the week which is why I made them this day and I just think they're so delicious with this cheese sauce which you're gonna see that recipe here in a little bit so stay tuned to share with you today that a lot of the items I'm using for today's recipes are coming from Thrive Market. You can join Thrive Market by clicking the link down in my description box below, going to thrivemarket.com slash running on plants to join Thrive Market today to get 40% off your first order and a free gift. We have been loving Thrive Market. Not only is it super convenient and delivered directly to our door, because for me, that's really important. I'm a very busy working woman, and sometimes it's nice not to go to the grocery store, but instead to order things delivered right to my door. Plus, they do price match, which you know I'm all about saving the extra dollar when it comes to budget-friendly meal ideas and foods and really cracking down on my grocery budget. I have a lot of goals for 2022 as I've shared with you in a video which I'll link right above in case you want to check that out. But also I have saved so much money using their yearly membership. I highly recommend signing up for that one because you're going to save so much. Not only do they have an entire website that's super easy to navigate, if you are looking for items that are lifestyle, like cleaning products, bathroom products, child, pet, or beauty products, but also if you are a lifestyle eater and you're looking for paleo, gluten-free, vegan, keto, whatever you may be looking for, their website is so easy to navigate. Personally, I just filter out going gluten-free and vegan, and I am able to look at all of the products that they have, and I super love that. I also recommend the Thrive Pasta, especially the gluten-free lasagna noodles that I used in the first recipe. They are so good. Those are really hard to find for me personally in any store here where I live. So you definitely want to snag those on your order from Thrive Market. Plus, I actually got two household items I wanted to share with you because as you know, I've moved into a new house and I'm looking for different items for my countertops, but also we wanted to switch our dish soap and I found two amazing affordable options that I am loving. This stone cleaner from a Thrive Market not only smells amazing, the smell is so unique. I feel like I'm so used to a citrus only scent. It's pomegranate and grapefruit, so it smells sweet and it has a little citrus vibe and I love it, especially for my bathroom. I think it gives it such an amazing clean scent, but it cleans so well. This is actually the third stone cleaner that I have purchased. The first two were actually 
actually from Lowe's and I didn't love them. They were degreasers, but I didn't feel like they gave my stone the cleanliness that I wanted. So I decided to go out on a limb without any knowledge of how this cleaner from Thrive Market would do and I am obsessed. I love it so much. I will never switch from another cleaner as long as this one's around. Another item that I picked up is a dye-free dish soap. I've been doing a little bit of research on household products and I really love that Thrive Market has affordable options for everyone and they have a lot of items that I am looking for. So let me share with you what is in my Thrive box really quickly and then let's jump back into the recipes. A lot of these items are new to me, so if you've tried them, let me know what you think. And some of them will be used in today's recipes and then some I got kind of got as pantry staples. We got these in our last Thrive Market Box and love them. They are so good. And you saw them in the first recipe that I shared with you today. Highly recommend, especially if you want a lasagna and you're gluten-free, snag these off of Thrive Market. Something that I have a hard time finding is pizza crust, but look at this, I found some, and you'll see here in a little bit how I'm going to use that. I did get some refried beans, and I kind of really love this option of them being a bat in a bag, so I can kind of take them with me if I wanted to and eat them on, on the go. Maybe that's a little weird, but I'm excited for that, but you'll see those here in a little bit. We're gonna continue with the recipe. I also found these siete tortilla chips, which we love. We've gotten them before at the grocery store, but they were way more affordable at Thrive Market. Something I don't use a lot in my cooking, but I'm going to figure out probably a barbecue jackfruit recipe. I have one pinned to Pinterest. You'll see that probably in a dinner's video coming up very soon. Something I don't think I've ever cooked with in my adult life, but have had at restaurants, artichoke. So leave me all of your recipe ideas for this. I'm gonna hopefully make that later this week in a recipe video, so give me all your ideas. I need them. Okay. I went out on a limb here and I wanted to try plant-based tuna. Yes, <laughs> this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever purchased, but it had really good reviews. So I, we're gonna try it today because I have a really awesome recipe and I needed some kind of tuna. And I thought, you know what? This is gonna be perfect. Let's try it. You never know until you try it. And then the last thing I did get is some sunflower butter. We both have nut allergies, so we tried to get the butter that kind of works for both of us. And I'm gonna make some energy bites with this later on in the week, or maybe later tonight if I feel ambitious. All right, that's the end of my Thrive Market haul. Let's jump back into the recipes. I will leave the full recipe typed out in the description box for everyone in case you want to make this cheese sauce. I highly recommend it. It's so easy to make. The components are super simple, but you can make it your own by changing the seasonings, adding more, taking away. But we like to add jalapenos, a can of Rotel. I like to keep it really simple because it makes it super budget friendly, plus the items you typically always have on hand in your pantry. Carrots, potatoes, garlic, some seasonings. Put it in a high-speed blender and you have this amazing cheese sauce that you can use for so many recipes. Let's jump back into some of the recipes I'm using for today with this cheese sauce. This next recipe is probably one of my husband's favorites. He loves nachos, so I try to find something I can make that's super simple and sheet pan nachos are where it's at. All you're gonna need is some kind of nacho chip. You could also substitute for a pita. If you are fat free, you could do just a corn tortilla that's low fat or fat free. You can make your own, but these chips are super flavorful. I like that they're gluten free and vegan and it's something my husband loves. That's one of the balances I have really sought after to find over the last two years of being plant-based is to find recipes not only that I love, but also something that he loves as well. It's a really good balance I think we've found, and I'm really enjoying sharing all of my ideas with you all. So all I do is pop the chips onto a sheet pan, put some of the black refried beans down, and then pour on a lot of cheese sauce, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was already snacking on these prior to putting the lettuce and tomatoes on them, but you're gonna pop them in the oven at 350. I don't even wait for my oven to preheat. I just stick them in there, and it takes about five or six minutes. I did need my oven on this day anyway, so I just popped them in there. You know, why wait? You kinda get hungry and snacky while you're filming. It's one of the best things I personally think about being a YouTuber. Is
is I get to make all these delicious meals and then enjoy them. So like I said, I just pop them in there for like five or six minutes till the chips are nice and warmed and the cheese sauce is warm and then I like to top them with simple, simple ingredients. Sometimes we've done cucumber and corn. You can really just make these your own, really you can. And as you can see on the left side of the sheet pan, in no shame, I was snacking on them while I was filming. But this is just a really simple, easy recipe that I think your whole family will love if they are not plant-based. I love to share those types of ideas with you all because I know it can be difficult to make multiple meals for people in your family. This meal has been a huge staple for me since I went plant-based over two years ago. It's a baked potato, some microwave broccoli. I really don't even like roast it when it comes to simple and convenient. And I wanted to share that with you today so you don't feel like you have to cook every single meal. Sometimes you can utilize the microwave and that's totally fine. So I just went ahead and steamed the veggies really quick. I also steamed my potato in the microwave. This is something I eat a lot on work days because it takes like five minutes to throw together. I already have the cheese sauce made. Bada bing, bada boom. Simple, simple, simple. But I get a lot of questions still if I follow the starch solution, if I'm oil-free. No, when I first went plant-based, I went completely oil-free. I followed the starch solution, but I didn't find it completely sustainable for me because I really enjoy food and I enjoy fitness. And so I have really found a balance between the two, but it doesn't mean I don't still enjoy simple meals like this that are oil-free. Just because I now include oil in my diet doesn't mean I still don't use like strong components like a 50-50 plate or really, really simple meals. So I thought I would share this with you in case you do follow the starch solution so you had a meal idea that you could utilize for yourself. I'm calling this the best pizza because this pizza crust is wow. When, as soon as I opened the box and I smelled like the sourdoughness of it, I was like, okay, this is going to be either amazing or a complete flop. And it is so good. I have never seen these in store before, so I'm really thankful that Thrive Market carries them. They're super affordable. And honestly, this makes it so much more budget friendly than me going to the store and finding a gluten free dairy-free vegan pizza that usually costs me like eight or nine dollars. I do have two frozen ones in my freezer that we recently picked up that I'll share with you in a grocery haul coming up probably next week with some dinner meal ideas, but I feel like I would much rather make my own pizza and put the items on it that I really want versus being stuck to a frozen pizza. And I really like mushrooms, olives, peppers, onions. I think this would be really good as a taco pizza with this cheese sauce. Highly, highly recommend. It's a thin crust dough and it got so crispy, which I really like. That's my favorite kind of crust and it had such good flavor. Again, it's really hard for me to find a gluten-free crust that I really like and I haven't been able to make a homemade one that has turned out well. Gluten-free bread baking has been really difficult for me, so I highly recommend giving this pizza crust a try. Even if you're not gluten-free, it's so good. You're going to really love it. Trust me, it's amazing. I have to get online and order more. I don't think you are ready for this recipe. <laughs> I, When I was shopping on Thrive Market, I saw this vegan tuna. Yes, it's 100% vegan, comes in the little pouch, looks like tuna. And I thought, okay, I think I'm gonna try like a cheesy rice casserole and I wanna make rice differently this time. So I'm trying the easy oven baked rice. I will leave that recipe down below. Instead of butter and oil like it calls for, I decided to use my cheese sauce and give it a go. I figured if I was making this video and it didn't turn out, I would eliminate this recipe but this rice was so easy to make and it turned out perfect. I'm sure you could utilize a different component besides the cheese sauce, but I feel like this also acts as like a springboard for so many recipes. If you want to do a broccoli cheesy rice or a cheesy cauliflower rice or like literally anything with this cheese sauce rice and put it in as a casserole in your oven, perfection. It only took 25 minutes in my oven and the rice, I was like really nervous to unwrap the foil, just like, oh, is it going to turn out because it didn't use butter and oil? It's so perfect. I highly recommend giving this rice recipe a try. Like I said, I will link it down below. And it really pushed me to try it by just picking up this single tuna packet. So you're probably curious, okay, what did you think of the vegan tuna packet? Well, 
I've never really had anything like this before, and I stopped eating meat, dairy, cheese, everything two years ago. Prior to that, I only ate um, poultry and fish. I didn't eat red meat or pork or anything. So I was kind of just really curious to try it. Um, it's okay. My husband really liked it. So again, I feel like it was a kind of a meal component I could utilize to make us both a meal, but also I could put it on the side if just he wanted to eat it, if that makes sense. I actually recommend giving it a go if some of your family members are not plant-based. You can kind of sneak it in and they probably would never know the difference because mind-boggling enough, the texture taste is spot on with what I remember tuna tasting like. So I actually would give it a try if I were you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to check out Thrive Market down below. Go join Thrive Market today and save 40% on your first order and receive a free gift. You can't miss the link. It's right at the top of the description box. I make it super easy for you guys to find. I'm so excited for you guys to try Thrive Market out if you haven't already. We love it. I can't wait to hear how you love it. Have an awesome day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye. Nacho, nacho, man. Hey, you. I want to be the nacho. Man. How are those nachos? Nacho, nacho. They're delicious. Thank those you. chips are so good, right? They're so good. Oh my gosh, the flavor. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. I'm glad you like them. I'm glad you like I'm glad you made it. <laughs>